Hello, teacher and classmate. <laughs> okay, so I am very excited to take this uh, presentation via online. All right, so I will talk about how the effectiveness of oh has the UN been peacekeeping operation. All right. And I come from the first group who chose the first topic and I also uh, have only myself and my team. I prefer to do it individual. Well, let's see the content of the topic. I've got three content today. The first one is about the introduction to the topic the second one is about the successful accomplishment of the UN peacekeeping and the third one is that the failure and the partial result of the UN peacekeeping alright so let's go to the introduction to the topic first um, you're gonna see the logos of the United Nations peacekeeping Alright, so, so let me just explain you a little bit how the United Nation uh, is and when uh, did the United Nation establish. Alright, so the United Nation is the world problem solving organization and helps country to a conflict create condition for lasting peace. Peacekeeping has proven to be one of the most effective tools available to the UN to exist host country not forget the difficult path from conflict to peace. United Nations peacekeeping began in 1948 when a security council authorized the deployment of the UN military observers to the Middle East. The first content may be so short for you, but it's okay. Let's just move to the second content. I hope it's going to be fun and I hope it's going to be uh, meaningful. Okay, so the successful accomplishment of the UN peacekeeping. I would choose only Liberia Peacekeeping Operation because Liberia Peacekeeping Operation can show you well, can show you clearly about how the United Nations accomplishment is uh, was successful. So you're gonna see on a slideshow before the UN operation in Liberia, they got uh, lost a lot of people, like 150,000 dead and the law or order, I mean the constitution or something, they're not uh, they, did, they did not follow anymore, so they break down it all. Alright, the end, and then 1989 to 1990 war cost several hundred dead. So you can see before the UN operation, a lot of people dies. And then, you know, it's, it's, that's related to the humanity as well. But then after that, after the UN operation, uh, they all they combat. Uh, I mean, not all. Only a hundred thousand combatants um, disarm, and twenty-four thousand weapon has been secure. All right, and then enable one million refugees in this place people to return home. So the United Nations brought many people back home, and they feel happy because they uh, they got. They got, they got to, um, I mean, they got to the safe condition, yeah. And then after the, all the people got safe, after they got the independent, they, uh, the UN also prepare or arrange the election as well. We call it as the legislative election. All right, so the second content has gone now, but it's okay. Let's just move to the third one. Failure and partial result of the UN peacekeeping. All right, so as we all know that the that the, the United Nations did enjoy and help many country with the uh, peacekeeping operation, and they got successful with this. But, however, the UN has failed several times across the walls, mostly because of the right to veto at a disposal of five countries, like. The United States of America, United Kingdom, uh, France, Russia, and China.
Well, so um, look at a slide altogether. The first example of the failure of the UN peacekeeping operation that apply on Israel occupation, that the Israel invade on a Palestine uh, territory uh, in 19 uh, till uh, since 1948 till now, that the that the United Nations cannot solve this problem. All right, because of who? Because of what? Let's see. All right, so ever seen the creation of the Jewish state in 1948, Palestinians have been fighting against what a UN investigator one described as Israel is cleansing. Alright, so you're gonna see a picture. This is the Palestinian uh, loss of land in 1946 until present now because of Israel invade and then the UN seems like uh, kind of really difficult to to what? To going to solve in this situation, in this condition. Yeah. Because of who? Let's see. Um, well, today Israel controls 85% of historic Palestine. It also imposes a crippling blockage on Gaza and continuous construction of illegal settlements on occupied lands in defiance of several UN resolution calling for an end to those activity. The United States has also used its greater power several times to counter UN security consult resolutions that have condemned Israel's use of force against Palestinian civilians. So this is the reason why that the United Nations got failed on applying the peacekeeping operation in the Israel occupation or invading uh, in Palestine because of the right of better power of America. Alright, moreover, Rwandan Civil War in 1994 is also uh, one of the uh, unsuccessful accomplishment of the peacekeeping operation Okay, and then let's see what, uh, why, uh, what is the reason why that the Rwandan Civil War cannot solve by the UN operation. Alright, so let's see the histor history first. Um, Rwandan Civil War in 1994 is one of the worst ethnic genocide since World War II. The civil war between the Rwandan armed forces then rebel Rwandan Patriotic Front, we're going to call it as RPF began in 1990 and lasted until 1994. Alright. And UNAMIR Chapter 6 mandate render it powerless to intervene militarily and most of the round of stuff kills in the early days of the genocide. Severely limiting its ability to operate. UNAMIR was therefore largely reduced to a bystander role and Diet layer later level is a, as a failure. So this point means that the United Nations is very hard to cower to control the genocide, to control about the human rights in Rwandan civil war. Because the Rwandan civil war made a lot of people die, like that point I also mentioned here, is Rwandan stuff were killed in the early day of the genocide. So here, that point, is, uh, so that point was the unsuccessful um, mission of the UN peacekeeping. So that's why we call. Uh, oh, that's why we um, call the Rwandan civil war as the uh, unsuccessful accomplishment of the UN operation. Well, so we have talked already about um, the successful accomplishment and the failure uh, accomplishment. But let's see, the last one, the last, the last type of accomplishment is partial result of the UN peacekeeping. So let's see, which country got a partial result? So Cambodia is one of the partial effectiveness country in Southeast Asia which have been received both successfully and failure from UN mission during Cambodian violence in 1975 
1979 after the end of the U.S. Vietnam War and the Cambodian Civil War in 1975. The Khmer Rouge regime took control of Cambodia, turning it into a socialist country by using the policy of ultra Maoism. All right, so here are some of the historical uh, information about the Mao, uh, the, about the Pol Pot regime, about the Pol Pot times that Cambodia lost control. Cambodia fall down into the uh, dark area, or something. Yeah. Well, but the point is about the partial is that mean um, the UN peacekeeping also cannot apply the successful uh, goal, successful accomplishment uh, in Cambodia and also uh, did well and find the, I mean did something successful in Cambodia so partial here means like this well let's see the red point on the slide, the red box here the United Nations recognized the Khmer Rouge regime while ignoring concern of human rights violation so I would I would say that um, the United Nations also recognized the Khmer Rouge regime, but um, why? Why did the um, United Nations cannot solve this problem and ignore the concern of human rights violations? So here, that's the point that the United Nations cannot apply the successful um, accomplishment in Cambodia. But fortunately, the United Nations also got. Mm, uh, to arrange the national election in Cambodia in 1993. You can see the blue box. Alright, so here is the successful point, the good point that the uh, UN peacekeeping also applied, also helpers, yeah, with this. Okay, so after we talk a lot about the topic today, we can summarize into the conclusion of the topic. I would say that the UN peacekeeping operation has been effective and ineffective and partially applied in all problematic states. According to my research, I would suggest that the UN plea should be revamped of better power in order to be easy in determination on mission. So they would think again about this, about this point. They should revamp, they should reform again about the better power. Because if one country, if one country or one member um, refuse with the something or I mean some of the plan, uh, do something, so that plan or that mission will not apply, will not launch, will not happen, will not occur. Yeah. So, I mean. Some country they would do like some corruption to each other, so I mean it's not fair. So the United Nations should think again about this point. This is for my opinion. Okay, so um, this is the end of our slide. So thanks for watching, and I hope you will understand my slide clearly and I hope you will um, understand a lot about what I had explained and I hope you're gonna have some question to me and I will free for um, you to ask okay you're welcome okay okay so here's some of the source information I got some reference I this my research uh, through all these websites. You're gonna search more if you are not clear, or you can ask me. All right. So I hope you're gonna be fine, and I hope you're gonna be safe by coronavirus. Thank you so much. Bye bye.